This may be a short meditation session, but you can make up for the lack of quantity with quality. In other words, be really strict with yourself. You're going to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Find a spot in the body where you feel especially sensitive to how the breathing feels. And provide that spot with precisely the breathing at once. Maybe long, short, deep, shallow, heavy, light. Satisfy that spot with the breath. And then when that spot is satisfied, then you can think of that sense of satisfying breath spreading out from there. But you stay focused right here. In other words, you open up the boundaries of your awareness, but you still keep it centered. That's the kind of quality you want as you get the mind into concentration. As the Buddha says, you want to be sensitive to the whole body breathing in, the whole body breathing out. But at the same time, you want to stay focused. So keep the focus, but also expand its range. It's like looking at a painting. You can look at one spot in the painting and focus total attention on that. Or you can still stay focused on that spot, but be aware of the whole painting. See how that spot relates to the rest of the painting. Kind of sense of the painting as a whole composition, but it might be centered on one spot. And it's up to you to choose what spot you like. Years back, I was at a, the museum in New York, the Metropolitan, and there's a painting by Caravaggio, a couple of musicians. And the thing you notice about the painting was that the eyes of the musicians in the back are staring right at you. And this tour guide came in, was leading a private tour, and the first comment she made was, the first thing you notice here in the painting is the violin. Well, that was not one of the first things I noticed. But it really doesn't matter what you notice first. What you do notice is how the eyes or the violin fit into the entire composition. You maintain your focus, but then you expand your range. So see if you can do the same thing with your mind and the breath and the body right here, right now. You've got that one spot that's very sensitive, and then you think of that sensitive good energy spreading throughout all the channels in the body that allow it to spread. Again, we have the advantage of having a John Lee's instructions as to how you might imagine it to spread. But you notice how your breath spreads. You notice how the body, your body, has a sense of some things being blocked and other things being wide open. Allow the breath to spread through the areas at first that are wide open. And then as they seep through the body, these breaths will wear down the spots that are blocked until everything feels like one large hole breathing in, W-H-O-L-E, an entire body breathing in, an entire body breathing out, and you're centered right here. And then there's that quality of the mind that's so frustrating. You finally get it to settle down, and then it says, okay, what's next? We get impatient for something new, something new all the time. Even when we've got something good, there's just an attitude that we want change. I'll learn how to train the mind that it doesn't want change. It gets something good, stay there. Think about that foolish, inexperienced cow. It's got grass, it's got water where it is, but then it sees a meadow on another mountainside. And wonders, what's the grass like there? What's the water like there? Because it's foolish and inexperienced, as it goes down the mountain and tries to go over the other side, it gets stuck down in the ravine, can't get out. It doesn't get the good grass. And in the new meadow, and it can't get back to the old one. Try to stay in the old one, because the grass is good, the water is good. And the difference, and this is where the image breaks down, the difference is as you stay here, the water gets better, the grass gets better. So give it some time. It's best because we don't give time to concentration that we don't get its full benefits. It's a good lesson in patience. You've got something good, learn how to maintain it, and don't let your impatience pull you away.